what a day yesterday was. So we left Harrisburg around 7 a.m. Uh, to come down here to the Keys in Florida. To the Florida Keys, to be precise. And our flight was at 12.30, no problem. Check in, get on the flight. Surprisingly easier than expected with a uh, toddler. You have fun? We get on our plane and we're sitting there. It's about 10 minutes after we're supposed to take off and everybody's kind of wondering what's going on. And uh, the pilot comes over the intercom and he's like, we would like everybody to behave, respect everybody and listen. And we're like, what the hell's going on here? The next thing we know, they start negotiating with this older man. Turns out that uh, his <laughs> his bag wouldn't fit in the overhead compartment. And uh, because we were flying Spirit, that would mean that he would have to check it and pay like, I don't know, 50 bucks or whatever. This dude wasn't having it. That wasn't happening under any circumstances. So he starts to raise a little bit of a ruckus. They talked to him for about a half hour trying to negotiate with them to get them off the plane. By this point, um, people are starting to get get a little antsy on the plane. Um, of course, like the most vocal um, of all of them was sitting directly in front of me. This uh, older gentleman who was trying to get to a uh, fishing trip that he had booked that night in uh, Florida, in Miami. And uh, he wasn't happy at all. I'm getting old. <laughs> So he starts yelling profanities, blah, blah, blah. Guy behind me starts yelling a couple profanities, you know, kindly asked them like, hey, I got, got a two-year-old with me. Could you kind of just chill out a little bit? But also understanding everybody's frustrations. Um, it was interesting. Never really dealt with something like that, but it seems to be like a super common occurrence right now when people are flying. And uh, I don't know, everybody's kind of like, oh, well, it was because it went spirit. Well, guess what? I got $25 flights from Philadelphia to Miami. So it was still, in my mind, kind of worth it. But, I mean, I think that could happen anywhere. So now the guy in front of me starts singing West Virginia and trying to get the whole plane to sing along. River. Life is rolling, rolling like the country road. Literally in my living hell at that point and not sure how to function, but you know, everybody's keeping cool. Multiple people on the plane just like we're like, listen, we'll pay for this guy's bag. Apparently that's not allowed for whatever reason. So finally they're like, Alright, everybody needs to depart the plane. You need to get off the plane, everybody's gotta go. Okay, well that stinks. Um I'm pretty aggravated at that point. So the first like four rows get off the plane so they can remove this guy. And then everybody else starts going and they're like, oh, the gentleman has uh, agreed to leave, so you can all sit down. So we all sit down and uh, he leaves the plane. Everybody cheers, claps. It's called a jitney. It's called a jitney. Momentary joy. We're at this point about 45 minutes after we were supposed to take off. Well, it turns out they get him out to the, like, bridge, and he... Now, the guy's, like, old, old, like, 70s, maybe 80s. Turns around and runs back on the plane, and this time decides to just screw all of us over, and uh, he lays down at the very front of the plane so that nobody else can, can leave either. I'll pay for your bag. I'll, I'll pay for Um, at that point, I feel like there's not any less consideration that you could have for any person in the world. Like, you're already going to jail for the first thing, probably, holding up the flight and everything like that. Now you're laying there, and you're not only are you going to jail, but you're ruining 200 other people on the plane's experience, vacations. Uh, the guy behind me, like, had booked reservations at some, like, fancy Miami restaurant that, like, has, like, a year wait to get onto the uh, waiting list for reservations, and he was, like, losing his mind. Um... So yeah, it was kind of messy. We're there for about an hour. Um, two cops come, and they had to call their supervisor, which, you know, that was two other cops came, so now we're at four cops. Eventually there's six, like, police or other variations of police on the plane just trying to negotiate with this guy. I'm assuming because he was older, maybe they were afraid to touch him or if there's other rules for, like, planes and stuff like that. But, like, 
my understanding is you don't mess with airlines and you don't do stuff on planes. So like this guy is looking at probably federal charges and he's going to jail, hopefully for a long time. Um, I honestly think that at this point- uh, uh, You deserve life in prison. For being that inconsiderate of a human being. Uh, lock him up, throw away the key. Nothing gets more ignorant than that. Yesterday was a travel day for us, but I had planned our day so that we were dry, because we were gonna drive, we did drive to the Florida Keys um, basically the Key West, a little short of it. And uh, we were gonna drive the, we did drive the Ocean Highway. And the Ocean Highway is gorgeous, it's like a bucket list thing. We had to drive it in the middle of the night because of that. So we left our house with a two year old um, at 7 a.m. In, in Pennsylvania and we arrived here at 11.50 because of all the delays, because then once you land, they can't find somewhere to put the plane. It, it was ridiculous. What should have been a two hour flight um, turned into like a six hour ordeal. My kid is like an absolute champion. Didn't have any breakdowns. It was cool on the flight. You saw a boat? Yeah, did you see? I did see. He, he did say because he was good, he asked if he could get a toy. So we, there's no way to deny that. We stopped at a random Walgreens when we when we got our, our rental car and got him a, a dump truck or something. Cause I mean, nobody deserved it more. Um, so now here we are, we're, we're in Florida, uh, day one of actual vacation. But yeah, that was uh, that was a wild ride. Uh, Spirit Airlines, uh, they, they, they didn't like, make any way or make any attempt to remedy it with us or, or make it right with the customer, which is very interesting to me. I thought maybe we'd at least get like a complimentary drink, but no, uh, you know, two sodas and a bag of Cheez-Its and a water for uh, Amanda, Joey and I, uh, it was like 22 bucks still because you know, it's spirit and you expect to get nickel and dime by them, but you'd think when they put you through living hell on a plane that they would uh, make some attempt to make it right, maybe a, a credit of some sort, but we're here now and uh, you know, the weather's great. Well, I said, it's it's very, uh, it does kind of remind me of an octopus. I think that's the kind of turtle we used to have. Oh, it is Tommy nice. had it right here. Yeah. There you go. Okay, okay, all right. As long as you shall live. super excited to uh, enjoy the Florida Keys for a couple days with the fam.